Do you have a court date coming up for immigration for removal proceedings and you're wondering what to do to prepare, like how to know how to get to court, the address, what to expect in terms of the security line? Is it like the airport? By the way, it's actually worse. You have to take off your shoes, your belt, things like that. That's what our team at Green Card Guys Law Group, that's what we do. We help you not just with the legal part, of course, with the motions, preparing your, your testimony, but most important is getting to the court on time. We emphasize that a lot because check this. Some judges will actually, even if you're like 30 seconds late, one minute late, they'll still order you removed, okay? Another tip you need to know. So if that didn't scare you enough to get there, not just on time, but earlier, that should, okay? The second thing is if you have an attorney, you want to make sure your attorney will also be there before the hearing time. I was just in court in the hallway and I saw several people, their cases got called, okay? I'm in Dallas right now and this particular judge, I'm not gonna name names, likes to go in a certain order that you don't expect. Like in, in most courts, uh, you go to, um, the judge will call up the cases that have an attorney assigned. Sometimes he does that, sometimes he doesn't. So that being said, if you have an attorney, you wanna make sure he or she shows up before that hearing time. Now, because you're there though, even without an attorney, technically the judge can still continue forward with your case without your attorney because that's the way it's supposed to be now some judges will allow you to like leave the courtroom go in the hallway call your attorney that's what should be allowed just to give that attorney a chance or the you a chance to have your attorney show up but it's not guaranteed okay so that's why you need a legal team who knows what they're doing with court cases because you don't want to run into that situation where you're going to have to represent yourself in the court hearing. Otherwise, what's the point of hiring an attorney, right? My name is John Ting. I secure your legal status to live and work in America legally. Now I got a couple more tips here. The next one is related to if your address, did you change your address from the prior time you were in court? And let's say you had not been in court before, but it's been a couple years since you received a letter to appear in court. That was the case today with one of my clients. It turns out it had been three, at least three years since he received the notice to appear in court. I think maybe he got the notice to appear in 2021 in his first master calendar hearing. Think of it as like a pretrial. That was today, September 2024. This was pretty wild. So he, he had moved at least two different times. So what we did was we submitted, wrote down the E33 Okay, even though you can do it online, some cases are older, so you have to paper write it, write it on paper, on the E33 form that they have, it's a blue color, and you wanna put the address that is the one that was on the notice to appear document, and then this, on the right column, you wanna put the address that's current. But of course, if you have an attorney, they should know what to do. Follow for more.